class. So before going to start our SAP FICO, S4 HANA FICO, you people want to understand some basic information for what? Everyone, listen careful. Listen everyone, concentrate here. First, you people want to understand basics of types of projects. How many? How many types of projects in SAP? How many types of projects in SAP? And how many types of data? Types of data in SAP. And TR. What is mean by TR? And before going to that, and uh, types of systems, types of systems in SAP and your transport request. So these four objectives, you want to understand some basic information raw before going to on the system, before going to, I mean, start in SAP. You people want to understand some basic information about how many types of projects in SAP, how many types of data in SAP, how many, I mean, types of systems in SAP and PR. So you have to understand some basic information for, for this. Then later we will start SAP. For this in-depthly, we will going to discuss on project class. Okay. But before going to start the SAP, you require something. First question, how many types of projects in SAP? Everyone, please go on mute. Whenever I can ask the question, that time you can unmute. I will give you time to ask the question. That time only you can, uh, that time only you can uh, ask the questions. I will give you time, okay? That time you can unmute and discuss. Meanwhile, don't disturb to others, okay? My dear students, how many types of projects in this example, we have majorly four types of projects, everyone. The first one, first one is called implementation project. First one is called implementation project. And second one is called supporting project supporting project third one is called rollout project rollout project and the fourth one is called enhancement project enhancement project and you have some other projects nowadays in s4 hana nowadays we have some other projects that is called testing project. Here, enhancement project or migration project. Migrating one, I mean, one version to another version. We have one more project also. It is called testing project. We are called as a testing project. Even testing project is part of implementation. So, implementation project, supporting project, Rollout project, enhancement project, take care of the typing mistakes, everyone. Spelling mistakes, take care, okay? Enhancement project and testing project. So first of all, you people want to understand what is mean by implementation project. Guys, concentrate here. Listen carefully, everyone. What is mean by implementation project? What is mean by implementation project? I will tell you one thing, everyone. I will tell you one thing. We have one client. We have one client. Client name is called MB Group of Company. MB Group of Company. What is this? This is my client. Before SAP implementation, everyone concentrate here. This MB group of company, 
बिफोर एस ए पी इम्प्लीमेंटेशन दे आर यूजिंग मेनी सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर द अकाउंट डिपार्टमेंट पर्पज दे आर यूजिंग टैली सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर द सेल्स प्रोस्पेक्टिव दे आर डूइंग दे आर यूजिंग एंड लाइक यू नो सेल्स फोर्स और जेवी टूल्स लाइक दैट जेवी टूल्स लाइक दैट एंड एच आर डिपार्टमेंट यूजिंग इन टाइम शीट टूल टाइम शीट सॉफ्टवेयर देन एम एम पीपल यूजिंग इन या लाइक यू नो एम आर वी सॉफ्ट लाइक दैट सो दिस कंपनी दिस क्लाइंट this is the client using in many softwares for accounts department using in different software and the sales department using in different software hr department is using in different software then the marketing people using in different software so different different departments using in different different softwares now management is thinking now management is thinking why we want to use this many softwares why don't only one software for all business requirements all business requirement why don't why don't only one software for all business requirement the solution is sap solution is sap system application products for data process so client is not required to use this many softwares you can use only one software it is called sap system application products for data process for all business requirement even hr people use sap marketing people use the sap accounts people use the sap sales people use the sap everybody for all business requirements only one software that is called sap system application products in data process so implementation project means we want to move the data we want to move the data non sap system to sap system we want to move the data non sap system to sap system non sap system to sap system implementation means we want to whatever data in this many softwares for example accounts people take care by the tally mm mm module people take care by different hr module take care by different some different different modules fico different module mm different module sd is a different module different different module people take care by the different different implementations so finally we want to move the data uh, non sap system non sap system means we are called as a legacy system legacy system means non sap system we want to move the data non sap system to sap system for example before sap implementation before sap implementation all the this mm mb group of company people this mb group of company people they can use this many software this employees using in this softwares this many softwares they are going to use like tally wings blah 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 this many softwares they are going to use everyone all the employees will using all the employees the employees using in this many softwares after sap implementation all the employees will use only in sap only in sap example all the employees will going to use only in sap so example 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 everyone let us assume accountant accountant is mb group of company accountant before sap implementation before sap implementation 
they can post the accounting entries in tally. They will generate the reports in tally. After SAP implementation, MB group of accountant will post the accounting entries in SAP. They will generate the reports in SAP. Don't call SAP. We want to call as a SAP system application production data process. System application production data process. Implementation project means we want to move the data non-SAP system to SAP system. So how to move? What is the process? In-depthly, it will come on the in project class, not required now. So this implementation project, how many days it will take? Mostly uh, one year to two years, everyone. One year to two years. One year to two years time it will take for the implementation. The next one. Guys, any questions? Questions, please. Implementation. Questions, please. No, Go ahead, Suresh. No, sir. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Uh, no sir, questions. Uh, now, uh, one question. If it's a new company, sir, they're starting up, then mm. they're not using the old systems, right? They're starting up a new Directly system. Directly, they can implement the SAP. Directly, so they that can time, implement that the That time also, it is called implement project, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 The next one, everyone. Concentrated, everyone. Concentrated, yeah. What is meant by supporting project, everyone? What is meant by supporting project? What is meant by supporting project? Supporting project. My dear students, concentrate here. Concentrate here, everyone. Before SAP implementation, before SAP implementation, all the employees, let us assume financial terminology, try to understand financial terminology. Concentrate here, concentrate here, everyone. Try to understand financial terminology. Before SAP implementation, all the accountants, accountant means SAP terminology, we are called as the end users. End user, nothing but accountant, senior accountant, accounts manager, financial executives. What they will do? They will post the accounting entries. They will generate the reports. Okay, like that. For example, everyone, now try to understand everyone. Try to understand. Try to understand supporting project, everyone. Try to understand supporting project. Supporting project means, supporting project means, my dear students, before SAP implementation, accountant using in tally, all the accounting entry postings, report generation, they are using in tally. After implementation, accountant use this SAP. Accountant means end user. SAP. End user will use the SAP. What they will do? Master data creation, accounting entry posting, report generation, blah, 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 etc. Everyone, supporting project means in case, in case, during the accounting entry posting, end user will face any problem. End, wherever end user will freeze their work, work means must uh, accounting entry posting and report generation. Now they are using an SAP. Now they are using an SAP. End user means accountant. Accountant using an SAP now. Wherever end user will going to freeze, end user will going to freeze their work. Now consultant will involve, then unfreeze. Just your term, your understanding for purpose. I am using freeze and unfreeze. During the accounting entry posting, if you face any problem, if you face any problem, consultant can involve. Can resolve the problem. 
during the reporting generation if end user face any problem end user will face any problem consultant will involve resolve the problem resolve the problem like that supporting project is 2 years to 20 years it's a big contract actually 2 years to 20 years so wherever end user will going to struck for their work end user means accountant then the consultant went in, in involved they have to resolve that error we are called as errors tickets bugs whatever you can call you can call so if you want, want to resolve then you have no knowledge for example everyone here i will i will i will tell you one thing <clears throat> If you want to resolve end user errors, if you want to resolve, if you want to, I mean, uh, resolve or end user errors, first you want to know end user process also. Then only you will resolve the errors. That is the reason in our class we will explain end user process and as well as consultant process. Okay, both process we are going to explain. Don't worry about that. You have to focus and get the job. Supporting project means post implementation support. For example, let it be, let it be everyone. For example, iPhone, any phone, any phone manufactured by the some specific company. After manufacturing, we are going to buy. Now we are trying to use the iPhone. Example, any phone, we are going to use the phone. If you face any problem during the phone usage, if you face any problem, then we are going to supporting center, supporting center, then we can give our phone. We are facing this type of issue. Kindly work on it. That uh, supporting guys is there. Then they can resolve the issue. Same to same way here. Same to same way here. During the end user, end user will going to use the SAP. If you face any problem, any problem, of course, a lot of problems will come. If you face any problem, they will reach out to you. You have to resolve. How you can resolve? If you know the subject, then only you are going to resolve. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? Okay. Following? Everyone, are you there? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then one more. One more, guys. One more. Listen carefully. One more thing. Concentrate here, my dear students. One more thing is rollout project. What is meant by rollout project? Rollout project. <laughs> Rollout project. What is meant by rollout project? Roll out. What is the definition of rollout? Leave the SAP. And what is the meaning of rollout? Rollout. What is that? English, English meaning. What is meant by rollout? Anyone? Anyone? Please. Anyone? Extend. Extend. Okay. Good. Any others? Rollout. What is meant by that? Roll plus out. <laughs> Expanding. Expanding, good. Extension, good. Extension, good. Everyone, I will tell you. I will tell you. What is mean by rollout project? We have uh, one company. We have one, com we have one client, everyone. We have one client. Client name is called. Client name is called. Uh, the client name is called, let it be. Let's take Kia. Everyone. What is this Kia? Kia means? It's a car car manufacturing yeah. company. Concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Kia, Kia basically, Korean-based company. Korean-based company, everyone. Korean-based company. I mean, before, uh, maybe Kia came in India, maybe uh, before five years or 10 years back. No, I'm not sure. 
maybe six to seven years, not more than that. Maybe six years back, I, I strongly believe. For example, everyone, this Kia company, Kia company in Korean based company. In the Korea, they are using an SAP. They are using an SAP. Now, now, this Kia company expanding their business, expanding their business, Korea to India. In, uh, in Andhra Pradesh, Anantapur, they have one plant. They started one plant. They are expanding their business, Korea to India. In Korea, they are using an SAP. In Korea, they are using an SAP. So then India also, they want to use SAP, right? And obviously, in India also, they want to use an SAP. In India, if they want to use the SAP, there is one problem. What is the problem? In Korea, their companies belongs to Korea. There, they will using an SAP. Due to some business expanding, even they started their business in India also. So in Korea, they are using an SAP. Even India also, they can use the SAP obviously. But if they want to use SAP in India, they have some problems. What is the problem? In Korea, they different currency. In India, different currency. In Korea, different tax, taxation, different tax. In India, different tax. In Korea, different uh, legal rules. In India, different legal rules. So, if you want to start, post the accounting entries in India. First, consultant will consultant can involve set up tax related things, set up legal related things, set up currency things, and all. Expand the SAP one country to another country. Roll out the SAP one country to another country. For example, everyone, my company is called my company, uh, Punnam IT. Punnam IT is an Indian based company. Example, example. Punnam IT using in SAP in India. Due to some business expanding, I can start my business in America. So India to America. So if I want to start my transactions in America, before that, we need to set up our system. Why? Because here currency is different, their currency is different. Here taxation is different, their taxation is different. Here legal, legal rules is different, their legal rules is different. So before going to start my financial transactions, first consultant can involve and they will set up their requirements. Roll out the business, roll out SAP, one country to another country. Clear so far, everyone? Yes, no? Following? Yes, sir. Questions? Yes, sir. Questions? Yes, sir. Questions, please? Any questions? Yeah, some basics, everyone. Answer it, Everyone, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. The next one is called enhancement project. Next one is called enhancement project. Enhancement project means lower version to higher version. Lower version to higher version. ECC 4.7 to 6.0. 6.0 to 7 and 8. Then ECC to S4 HANA. Like that, lower version to higher version. We can migrate the data, lower version to higher version, update the data and all. 
even testing project is a part of implementation some basic information everyone during the project class we will discuss more now my dear students concentrate here, everyone concentrate here concentrate here before going to understand types of data before going to understand types of data first you people understand how to open sap system how to open sap system everyone concentrate everyone so even if you take server access lakshmi ma'am will show you how to open the sap system but in my it my curiosity i can also show you how to open sap system lakshmi ma'am will show you okay my curiosity i can also show you everyone here you can you use windows plus r windows plus r what is this it is called run dialog box here you can enter here you can enter ms tsc here you can enter ms tsc click on your okay here you can enter lakshmi ma'am will give you one ip address lakshmi ma'am will you give you one ip address that ip address first you can give you your ip address then username she will give you ip address username and all then click on your connect now here you can enter the password uh, any password she will give you password and all and uh, password and all enter then click on your okay okay and this is called we are connected sap system so this is called sap logon pad double click on sap logon double click on sap logon and double click on sap s4 hana here 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 everyone this is called ecc old server this is called new server double click on sap s4 hana enter username and password this is called sap easy i am repeating once again everyone i am repeating once again everyone i am repeating once again concentrate here my dear students of course lakshmi ma'am will also show you but in my satisfaction listen careful how to open the sap system how to open the sap system listen careful use windows r here run dialog box and click on enter here m ms tsc ms tsc ms tsc click on your okay here you can enter ip address system ip address then your username click on your connect then now you can enter your password what is the password whatever some xyz password enter enter click on your connect yes now again this is called sap logon pad this is called sap logon pad double click on sap logon pad double click on sap logon pad here two types of servers everyone one is old server and one is new server you can take both servers double click on s4 hana server and enter username and password enter username and password everyone listen careful guys concentrate here everyone listen listen careful listen careful this is called sap easy access screen this is called sap easy access screen some people called as a some experts some experts called as a 
this is called sap home screen what it is it is called sap home screen some experts call some expert says this is called sap home screen but officially it is sap easy access screen everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here the first one is called menu bar what is this this is called menu bar and this is called toolbar tool toolbar this is called command box this is called command box and this is called favorites favorite this is called sap menu sap menu and this white one this white one is called this is called status bar sap status bar and the last one is called what is this standard bar standard bar everyone standard bar listen carefully everyone i am repeating once again everyone i am repeating once again my dear students i am repeating once again the first one first one is called menu bar this one is called toolbar tool toolbar this is called command box what is this this is called command box and this is called ribbon bar this one this is called ribbon bar maybe sorry i missed this one this is called ribbon bar and this is called favorite and this is called sap menu and this is called status bar white one this one status bar and this one called standard bar standard bar then you people want to understand one thing everyone you people want to understand one thing yes sir you opened sap system i want to know it is a s4 hana ecc you are saying s4 hana but i want to know which version it is which version you are going to explain everyone you can take 2023 or 2022 both are same everyone there is no changes in 2022 and 2023 my suggestion is take 2022 s4 hana 2022 version you can take my dear students after opening sap system you are taking access now you are taking access from lakshmi ma'am after taking the sap server access you want to check one thing what you want to check first you can open sap easy access screen here in the menu bar in the menu bar there is a system click on your system and click on your status here 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 everyone click on your status here you can observe everyone here you can observe here you can observe for example everyone here you can observe host what is the host s4 hana 2022 s4 hana 2022 and here user sap sap hana database db means database sap hana database s4 2022 this is the server hana hana means database actually s4 some people called as a fourth generation like that and here here everyone you can observe here database system database system hdb hana database hdb hana database everything hdb hana database after taking the sap server access wherever you can take not a matter you must check this one everyone database hana database hana server s4 hana 2022 you must check this one sap hana database sap hana db db means database db means database everyone 
and uh, how we can check i'm repeating one second everyone how we can check how you can check we will we'll see everyone go to systems go to systems click on the systems one second everyone Is my voice is audible, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here, go to systems. Click on your status. Yeah. Yeah. Click on your status. And here you can observe everyone. Come down, come down. Here you can observe. Here you can observe. HANA database. HANA means database. On this HANA server, we are going to learn SAP FICO. HANA is a database server. It is a SAP server who own database. Own database, everyone. Okay. In the HANA server, we are going to learn FICO. In the HANA, which version? Which version? 2022 version. Even 2023 also came. And there is no much changes in 2022 and 2023. There is no changes. Better take 2022. Even you can take 2023 also, no problem. That's your wish. My suggestion, take 2022. And here, everyone, here if you click on product version, if you click on these details, product version, if you click on one, Here you can find, click on your uh, installed product version. Here you can observe everyone, installed product version. Here you can observe. S4 HANA on premises. S4 HANA on premises 2022. Here you can observe. SAP S4 HANA 2022. Here you can observe. Even... Uh, here you can observe everyone a lot of things even you required fury also you must verify this you required fury also sap fury for s4 hana s4 hana sorry sap fury for S sap s4 hana 2022 after taking the sap server must analyze these things everyone how you can how you can verify this i am showing go to systems Click on your status and here you can come down and you can observe. Then click on your product version, product version here, product version. Product version here you can observe, installed product version. Installed product version, you can select yes, this one. Yes, for SAP S4 HANA 2022. Fury also you required. Fury also you required. Both you required. Fury and as well as S4. Why? Why? Because even we are going to test Fury also. Okay. Then apart from this, for example, everyone. For example, in case in the old server, if you close. For example, everyone, I'm repeating once again, double click on SAP logon, double click on SAP logon. Here you can observe one more thing also, everyone. After taking server access, you want to observe one more thing. Here, there is a one called ECC. There is one called ECC, old server. If you double click on old server, enter username and password. Enter username and password. Here you can observe everything. It is a old server, everyone. It is a old server. How would I know, sir? Same color, same same thing how you do would you know this is a world server 
my dear students go to systems go to systems click on your status here click on your status and here you can absorb everyone here you can absorb everyone database here database system which database it is it is called oracle database it is called oracle database and uh, it is an a sap r by 3 sap yes r by 3 do you know everyone what is mean by r by 3 real time data process three three layers r by 3 erp s4 hana like that here you can observe especially database database must be an a hana database hdb hana database other than hana database means that is the old server ecc server so you have to take both servers s4 hana server and as well as ecc server both server you have to take okay then one more here you can if you click on your product version here if you click on your product version installed software here also you can analyze here also you can analyze here you are unable to find fury why because it is an old server everyone installed software it is an old server okay then here you are, you are unable to see sas4 hana something like that you are unable to see okay and it is an old server everyone especially database and all you can observe some somebody make it as a some terminology okay some due to their <laughs> this one so then somebody make it a terminology but this is a main you want to observe this one everyone database it's a oracle database database hana database hana server hana database ecc server other than database oracle database and uh, microsoft database different different database they can use in the old servers new server is a own database okay then like this you can check after taking the server access then one more thing everyone let us understand some basic settings everyone basic settings so this is called sap easy access screen we are called as a sap home screen uh, be on a two minutes everyone i will uh, have some water and come back okay wait for two minutes okay wait for two minutes yeah
Yes, everyone, I'm back. Who is this uh, Mohan Rama? Who is this? Somebody joined Mohan Rama something. Who is, who is Mohan? Mohan, are you there? Somebody joined as a Mohan, named as a Mohan. You are in mute, actually. Guys, are you able to hear my voice? Yes, sir. Who is this Mohan, everyone? Please unmute yeah, and speak. I, I don't. Who are you? I'm Share your name. Can you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I am from Hyderabad. Mm -hmm. I completed MBA. Who shared this class link? I only shared or somebody? No, Lakshmi ma'am shared. Lakshmi ma'am shared. Huh? Okay, sure. okay. I mean, what is your name? Mohan only, na? Yeah, yeah, it's Mohan. Uh, please call me after the class, okay? Please call sure. Lakshmi, call to Lakshmi ma'am. She okay. said your number is not there. <laughs> okay. Mm. What what you are working, Mohan? What experience you have? I have already four years experience as a PC. You are already working in ECC. Which company? Tata Technology. Sorry? Tata Technologies. Which company, my dear friend? Uh, TCS, sir. Okay, is my wife? Am I clear? This is audible properly, Mohanji. Everyone, is my voice is audible properly? Yes, sir. Sir. No, not clear, Mohan. Not clear, actually. I think uh, my uh, network anyway, is... Anyway, go on mute. It's my voice is fine, now. Nah? Mm. Oh, not, oh. <laughs> yeah, anyway, everyone. So, how you can check the versions and all? Anyway, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. We have, we have two types of uh, jobs now, everyone. We have two types of jobs. And one is end user job and one is consultant job. Example, one is end user and one is consultant. One is consultant. End user job and consultant job. Everyone, in the SAP system, in the SAP system, end user working in where? Consultant working in where? Where the end user can work? Where the consultant will work? End user, nothing but accountant, senior accountant, like uh, financial executives, financial clerks. So that type of people we are called as uh, end users. What end users will do generally? What end users will do? End users will create master data. End user post accounting entries. End users will generate the reports. So where, where these people will post the accounting entries? Where these people, where these people generate the reports? Everyone, concentrated everyone. On SAP Easy Access screen or home screen, SAP Easy Access screen or home screen, they will post the accounting entries and they will generate the reports. They will post the accounting entries and they will generate the reports everywhere. So I will show you, I mean, coming classes, I will show you each and every accounting entry posting and reports, GL accounting entry posting, vendor accounting entry, customer accounting entry, bank accounting entry, asset accounting entry, each and every accounting entries we are going to post and we will generate the reports. So my dear students, example everyone, example, example everyone. 
for example, SAP menu, I will show you. First, you try to understand. My intention is on the SAP Easy Access screen, they will post the accounting entries. They will create the master data. Master data means GL creation, vendor creation, customer creation, asset creation, like that. Master data means that thing. Example. For example, SAP menu, SAP menu, accounting, example I will show you, accounting, financial accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry, here they will post invoice and uh, here payment, outgoing payment, here they will make the payment. F-53 F payment. Not required path and all. I will show you each and everything I will show you. Just try to understand. So what is my intention? On the SAP Easy Access screen, end user will work on SAP Easy Access screen on the production server. On the production server, end user will going to work on their work in the SAP Easy Access screen. We are called as a SAP home screen, SAP home screen. Everyone, here you will find some basic settings, everyone. Here you can find some basic setting, actually. My dear students, my dear students, concentrate everyone. Go to extras, go to extras, extras, click on your settings. Click on here, extras, settings, uh, can you please note it down this everyone, can you please note it down these four steps everyone, display favorite at end list, do not display menu, do not display picture, display technical name, can you please note it down these four steps everyone. I will tell you some basic settings. Note it on this. Done? Noted, everyone? Noted? Yes, no? Everybody, please maintain your notes. Okay. Noted? So, now you people want to understand. You people want to understand. Display favorite at the end list. So, what is meant by favorite? Why favorite? What is the use of favorite? Everyone, listen carefully. What is the use of favorite? Everybody, you can you can observe here. You can observe one thing, everyone. In your mobile, in your mobile, there is all our contact list. All the contact list is there, no? contact list. Maybe every phone we have 500, 600 contact list. Contact, contact numbers, all the contact numbers is there. Any number, if you make it as a favorite, what happened, everyone? Any number, if you make it as a favorite, what happened? Yes, no? Anyone reply, please? Any number, if you make it as a favorite, what happened? Anybody use like that? No, no, not. Yes, no, okay. Please respond, everyone. Not there, are able to not hear? For example, I, in mobile. Uh, uh, go ahead, ma'am. Go ahead. I think I think some star will be displayed, no? Any number if you make it as a favorite. What happened? What what happened? 
that contact number will come on the first list. First one. Yeah. First one. Did you observe everyone? Any number, if you make it as a favorite, that contact will come on the first list. Yes, sir. Same way. Yes, yes. Same to same way, everyone. Same to same way. Same to same way, everyone. Same to same. Here also. There is a many transactions, everyone. There is a many transactions. Example, if you go, uh, if you go financial account accounting, financial accounting, financial accounting, then accounts receivable and accounts payable, whatever, general ledger banking and whatever. If you click on this accounts receivable, example, document entry, many transactions is there, many transactions. If you see many transaction accounts receivable even accounts payable many transaction is there for example end user end user may not use all the transactions maybe end user can use one or two t codes invoice vendor invoice posting vendor payment posting so what happened here everyone what happened so every time so for example, I want to post vendor invoice posting. So every time uh, I want to go this path, SAP menu, accounting, accounts, uh, year accounts payable, document entry, document entry, double click on this. Every time if you go this path, it is time waste. Why don't this transaction will come on first list? Why don't this come on first list i want to see the first one so here my trend my everyone concentrate here what i am trying to tell here what i am trying to tell whatever transactions you can use repeatedly whatever transactions you can use repeatedly that transactions i can see in the first list I can see in the first list. Okay, how we can see that? First, you can decide. You are you can decide what transactions I can use repeatedly. What transaction I can use repeatedly? For example, I can I can use vendor invoice posting, then vendor payment posting. Vendor invoice posting and the vendor payment posting. For example, everyone, for example, here, what is the path to post vendor invoice? Example, SAP menu, accounting, there is a small transaction. Click on this. Financial accounting, accounts payable, here, document entry, document entry, here. This is the path, everyone. So this is the path and this is the T-code, FB60. This is the T-code, FB60. What is mean by T-code? I will tell you. This is the path. So every time you come here, double click on this FB60 invoice. Then here you can post the invoice. How to post the invoice? What is the T-code? What is the path? Everything will come. Everything will come. Don't worry about that. Here my, my intention is, to understand what is meant by favorite. How to post the accounting entries, everything I will show you. Example, everyone, every time I want to come this path and double click on this invoice, I mean, double click on this, then you can post. Then you want to understand why every time I want to come like this. Why don't at first list? Why don't at first list? So here my, my target is everyone. My target is whatever transactions you can use re repeatedly, that transaction you will make it as a favorite. If you make it as a favorite, that transaction will come at first list. So how to add the favorite? How to add the favorite? Very simple, everyone. You can drag in and drag out. Otherwise, instead of drag on, do one thing, everyone. Do one thing. This is a favorite, right? This is the favorite. 
click on this favorite right click on mouse right click on mouse and here insert transaction insert transaction and what is the t code fb60 fb60 then click on your ok so that transaction will come here and transaction will come here so simply double click on this then you can post the invoice you can post the invoice i am repeating one second everyone i am repeating one second either you can double click on and you can use otherwise you can go this path sap menu why my system is something slow sap menu accounting here there is a small button accounting financial accounting then document entry here fb60 either you can come this path double click on this you can post otherwise you already added into uh, favorite now you already added into favorite here favorite double click on this double click on this here you can post both are either for example the transaction at first list you can use that way otherwise you can come this path and you can use it and for example i am repeating one second let's post outgoing payment every time i will make it as a outgoing payment vendor payment repeatedly i will make the vendor payments so every time i want want to come this path then you can double click on this here you just double click on this here uh, you will make it as a post outgoing payment so every time you want to come this path and you can post vendor payment this is time waste simply you can make add into favorite how you can add you just click on this transaction click on favorite right click on mouse click on your insert transaction simply you can enter t code f dash 53 click on your okay so then not required to code this path simply the transaction is here now double click on this out post outgoing payment then you can post i can close the system i can close the system i can close the system double open again open again double click on open again and uh, enter username and password enter username and password see at the favorite is favorite at first list then you can use either you can go through path either directly you can use this transaction not only this transaction any transaction whatever transaction you can use repeatedly that transaction you can make it as a favorite you can make it as a favorite either you can go through path either you can use from the favorite then you people want to ask one thing sir here you are saying t code what is this t code what is this t code everyone so here here i am calling t code i here i am calling t code what is mean by t code everyone please remember everyone in ms office in ms office we are called as a shortcut key what is mean by shortcut key please unmute and speak what is mean by shortcut key shortcut key means in ms office ms word ms excel we are called as a shortcut key what is that shortcut key means nobody knows instead of going from menu and toolbar uh, directly we can press the key to go fastest key fast fastest, fastest yeah. route shortcut. shortcut yes very very good everyone for example everyone for example this is one excel everyone this is the excel for example if you want to save this excel either you can go through path everyone or what is the path go to sap main oh sorry go to file click on your save otherwise you can use the shortcut key control plus yes control plus yes 
save save the file control plus c copy control plus v paste like that same to same everyone in the sap sap t code note it down t code full form is transactional code it is nothing but shortcut key but don't call as a shortcut key you people want to call as a t code t code means transactional code transactional code t code t code nothing but transactional code everyone example example everyone if you want to post let's take same same information let's post if you want to post vendor invoice what is that either you want to go through path example best example is let it be let's see my screen everyone if you want to save this excel if you want to save this excel either you can go through path what is the path click on your file and click on your save this is the path what is the shortcut key control plus yes Control plus yes, save. Click on your save. Either you can use control plus yes, save. Otherwise, go to file, then click on your save. Same to same, everyone. Example If you want to use any transaction, if you want to use any transaction, either you can go through path, either you can go through T code. My dear students, if you already end user, if you already have consultant, you know this information. But some other students don't know this information. Even last students also want to get some information. That is my intention. If you already know, please bear with me. Okay. So here everyone, for example, I want to post vendor invoice. Either you can go through path SAP menu, Accounting, financial accounting, accounts payable, document entry here, invoice. Double click on invoice. Here you can post. No, sir. Every time, why I want to come this path? FB60 is a T code. Why I want to come here every time this path? Everyone, here there is a command box. Here, here, command box. Simply here you can enter. FB60, press enter, 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 simply enter. Otherwise, otherwise everyone, the transaction you can add into favorite, the transaction you can add into favorite, double click on here. There is a three ways, everyone, there is a three ways. One is, one is you can go to through path. Otherwise, you can use the T code. Otherwise, you can add into favorite, double click on favorite transaction. How to, how to go specific uh, transaction? Either you can go through path. Either you can go through T code. Otherwise, you can add into the favorite, then you can access. For example, I want to go Tirupati to Hyderabad. Either I can go through flight, either I can go through train, either I can go through bus. That is my choice. Same way, either you can go through path or either you can go through T code, whatever. Otherwise, whatever transaction you can use repeatedly, that transaction you can add it as a favorite. They can use easily access here. Instead of going T code, instead of going path, then you can add into the favorite, then you can access easily. So now, for example, I want to post customer invoice. I want to post customer invoice. So how you can, either you can go to through path, SAP menu, accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry here, customer invoice. Each and everything I will tell you everyone. But now you try to understand difference between path and T code and favorite. What is mean by path? What is mean by T code, transactional code? What is mean by favorite? So here, come to this path, double click on FB70. 
here you can post customer invoice posting here enter customer invoice and once back here back why i want to come this path why not use the t code why not use the t code what is the t code everyone fb fb 70 here you can use fb 70 press enter enter directly it will come in case this fb 70 if you use repeatedly why i want to use the t code why i want to go through path why not i can add into the favorite very simple any transaction if you want to add as a favorite select this favorite right click on mouse insert transaction simply fb 70 then the transaction will come here simply double click on here you can use it double click on here you can use it either you can go through path either you can go through t code otherwise you can add the transaction in favorite directly you can double click on that it will go into open okay so what is meant by t code t code means transaction code so for example in the ms office ms word ms excel ms word ms excel we are called as a shortcut key there in the ms office we are called as a shortcut key but here in sap we are called as a t code t code transactional code where you can use the t code transactional code on sap easy access screen there is a command box here you want to use the t code transactional code transactional code how to use so my dear students concentrate here so favorite at first list sap menu at second list first and second now go to extras go to extras click on your settings click on your settings everyone now you can observe here display favorite at end list click on your display favorite at end list then click on your ok now you can observe sap menu is a first list favorite at end list here and go to extras extra settings and remove this tick mark display favorite at end list click on your ok see here here okay like this then how to delete for example how to add the transaction in favorite how to add the transaction in favorite how to add and here select this right click and insert you can add uh, any transaction as a favorite for example how to remove the transaction in favorite how to remove very simple everyone select whatever transaction you want to remove from the favorite select the transaction right click on mouse delete delete as a favorite here delete select the transaction right click on mouse delete as a favorite delete as a favorite like that okay in case how to add right click and insert insert transaction like that okay and either you can go sap menu path through path either you can go through t code otherwise any transaction you can use repeatedly that transaction you can add as a favorite then you can easily access the transaction come at first list so now you people today what you understood how to open the sap system how to open the sap system what is meant by path and what is meant by t code and how to add any transaction in favorite how to remove any transaction in t code then basics of projects basic information of types of projects some basic information everyone in detail what is mean by project how to work the project and all will come on the project class not required now okay
So remaining things will come tomorrow, my dear students. Very soon, today or tomorrow, kindly arrange your server access and uh, uh, you can ask to Lakshmi ma'am to add on into WhatsApp group and kindly share your email IDs uh, to Lakshmi ma'am. Every day recording sessions also will going to upload into the Google Drive. I mean, uh, in case of any revision, once again, if you want to revision, then go and watch that. Recording sessions will, Lakshmi ma'am will upload evening 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock like that. Okay. 5, five before 5. Okay. Please wait everyone. Immediately it won't come. Okay. We have other targets also in institute. So maybe every day five o'clock or six o'clock will ma'am will going to upload. Please share your email ID. She will share the Google Drive. Same folder every day class will going to upload. Okay. Even in the WhatsApp group, topic wise practice material also we will going to share every topic wise enterprise structure, global parameters, topic wise practice material also we will going to share. First listen the class. In case of any revision, once again, watch recording session with help of practice material. You have to practice the SAP every day class. Okay. So if this class will not uh, end one month or two months. It will take almost four to five months. Everyone, patience is required. Uh, please bear with me. It will take some time. Okay. Be patient. Okay. Be patient. Everyone. Okay. Yes. No. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Tomorrow, please join same link at 8.30. Okay. Today onwards, our class at 8.30. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, Thank Bye you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>